guys so I know a lot of you have been asking me to make a workout video and I finally did it sorry it took so long but uh, I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna get right to the point I'm gonna show you guys a quick little picture 2015 and then another one in 2017 and the first picture I'm gonna show you is right when I hit like puberty I hit it pretty late but I think it's a really good idea to show you guys to all know that I wasn't always super skinny and it's what happens when you are a woman and you finally grow into that woman's body so this picture from 2015 and I was on blink this is right after I quit smell ed obviously smell ed work out like every day so when I went to gym time I wasn't really on top of my working out schedule and I would eat anything that I wanted and I didn't realize that I was gaining so much weight. I finally like realized that I was and that's when I went to the gym like every day and I would eat super super clean, not super clean, I would still have cheat days but I would try to cut out really anything that was super bad for me. Basically just tried to do that as much as possible and in a matter of about three months I slimmed down and went to the second picture. So. This second picture was when I was on Wildcats my first year, and I definitely lost weight, you can tell, in just by the pictures. But even now, I'm gonna show you another picture, and this picture was actually from a few days ago. And I actually, just in the past two weeks, just from being here in Colorado, and eating super clean, and working out every day, I've lost another like seven to eight pounds. So I think it's just super important that you guys know like obviously things take time and it doesn't just happen overnight and what you're putting into your body is so important too like diet is such an important part of how you look if you're eating constantly bad like fast food and soda and sugar and dairy and meat that's it's gonna show so I for the past two weeks have been cutting out dairy meat um, sugar, any processed sugar, and really just try to like, you know, cut down on all the unhealthy foods, and I've been working out every day since I've been in Colorado. This is my quick little workout routine that I'm going to show you guys, and I hope you enjoy it, and just know, again, I'm not a professional, so it may work for a lot of you, and maybe not some, but I, I feel like it will work for a majority of you, if not all, and hopefully you guys like it. So we are about to go work out, yes. and Hi. yes, Hi. this is going to be our, well, this is my daily little workout. This is where we're gonna come after to just kind of unwind. After Gabby kills me. If you guys want to not do the same thing every day, you could use the Stairmaster. You could also use the elliptical if you want. That's another option. Or the treadmill. Again, all of these machines are super, super helpful. If you can go on these for 20 minutes or more, that will for sure, for sure get you a good kickstart. Cause that gets your heart rate going up into those target zones and you start burning fat. I'm starting my cardio from anywhere between 20 minutes to an hour. So on the Stairmaster, you can switch it up. You can go forward or you can go side to side or you could go backwards. I'll usually run a mile or two on the treadmill and then after that, you can start walking and that's gonna kind of give you a good cool down. So now we're going to move into ab workouts, and these are the top 10 ab workouts that I would recommend. I'm just going to get a regular mat like this. Um, 
Um, if you have a yoga mat too, that's really helpful. Just anything that is gonna kind of cushion my floor that you're on. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll do in and out, which is where you just extend your legs all the way and you come back in. And you can use your hands or you could use just your core. Um, so it just looks like this. Side crunches, you're gonna have your hip facing up. Same, interlock your fingers, and you're just gonna do the exact same thing, but it's just gonna work out this side. And you can put your hands here, or you can put them under your butt. And you're just gonna go from here to just a little lift right there. And you're gonna do that about 50 times. If you can't do all 50, or you need to take a break, that's fine. Call it toe taps, and you just basically lift to your toes. You're gonna just hold a plank, but you're gonna drop your hip like that, and you're gonna go. You could either go one, two, or you could go one, one. So if you go one, one, you're gonna do 25. If you go one, two, you're gonna do 50. These side leg lifts and these, I really like these because this gets kind of the oblique area. So you're just going to put your elbow down like this and kind of be in a little V. And you're just going to lift. And flutter kicks. Now we're moving into glutes and I typically do about 50 reps of these two. Uh, sides. Well, now, the same exact thing, um, except you're going to bring your leg up like this and back down. Make sure you're squeezing at the top and try to do 50 on both sides. You're just going to put your hands like this and you're going to extend the back leg. You're going to go try to do 50. Always do both sides. Uh, this is up to you if you want to add weights. It's going to be harder and it's going to probably get you more sore. So the more weight that you use, obviously, the more effective it is. But even if you don't use a weight, that's still going to work. So these are going to be more squats, so for your legs and your butt. And the first one you're going to do is you're just going to go about shoulder width apart like a regular squat. So here. Back up, make sure you're squeezing your butt at the top. And I'll usually grab a 20, hold it like this, and then you just do the exact same thing. Okay, so same thing applies with uh, these. So you can either have a weight or you don't have to have one, but you're going to go to the side. You could do this 25 times, or you could challenge yourself and do 50, whatever you are comfortable with. And as long as you're getting a nice, good squat, deep squat, that's going to help. If you just kind of barely squat, you're not really going to see anything, or you're not going to get sore and it's not going to be effective. you got to make sure you squat. And switch sides. After you do your side lunges, then you're going to move into front lunges. We just got finished working out, and now we're going to go sit in the jacuzzi. But yeah, we snatched. Benny. Benny. Okay, guys, so we just got finished working out. Just kidding. We just went in the steam room, and yeah, that thing is hot. Smoking. So usually after a workout, like if you go in, into like a hot bath, and especially if you have Epsom salt, that will take away your soreness for the next day. So definitely like after a hard workout, like soak yourself in a hot bath or like a jacuzzi or something like that. That's what me and Morgan are gonna do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe.